Let's talk about infinite geometric series. Here is an example of a geometric series. The common ratio is 2, because 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, etc. And it goes on and on and on. So if I am given an infinite geometric series where the absolute value of the common ratio is less than 1, my formula for finding the sum of all the terms in the series is given by s is equal to a sub 1 divided by 1 minus r. Now, if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, then the sum does not exist. Let's try one. Find the sum of the infinite geometric series if it exists. 12 plus 6 plus 3 plus dot dot dot. Here is the formula for finding the sum of an infinite geometric series. I need to know the first term. It is 12. I also need to know the common ratio. Remember, I could take the second term divided by the first. The common ratio is 1 half. Once again, I can take any term and divide it by the preceding term and get the common ratio. So I have a sub 1 is 12 and the common ratio is 1 half. Let's plug that into our formula. That will be 12 over 1 minus 1 half, which will be 12 over 1 half and your answer is 24. Remember, 12 divided by 1 half is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Let's try another problem. Find the sum of the infinite geometric series if it exists. They tell me a sub 1 is equal to 7. The common ratio is equal to negative 3 fourths. Now remember, the absolute value of the common ratio needs to be less than 1. Well, the absolute value of negative 3 fourths is 3 fourths. It is less than 1. It has a sum. Let's find that sum. Here's my formula. Now notice that I don't have an S sub N down here. I'm not adding a certain number of terms. This is an infinite geometric series. Let's continue working. I will have 7 over 1 minus a negative 3 fourths. Be careful with your signs there. So that would be 7 over 1 plus 3 fourths. That would be 7 over 7 fourths. And 7 divided by 7 fourths, or I could say 7 times 4 sevenths, it is simply 4. The sum of this infinite geometric series is 4. Let's try one more. The sum of an infinite geometric series can also be written using sigma notation. Since it is impossible to count the number of terms in an infinite series, you notice that the upper limit of this index is written as infinity. So my n will equal 1 to infinity. Just to get an idea of how this infinite geometric series will look, let's write it out. If I have 4 thirds to the 1 minus 1, that would be 4 thirds to the 0, which is just 1. The first term is 1. What would the second term be? I will have 4 thirds, and that would be 2 minus 1, which is just 4 thirds to the first, which is just 4 thirds. It would look like this. 1 plus 4 thirds plus 16 ninths. Remember, I'm multiplying every 1 by 4 thirds, plus 64 over 27, and it would go on and on and on. My first term is 1. My common ratio is 4 thirds. So our common ratio is 4 thirds. Now let's check to see if the sum does exist. The absolute value of 4 thirds, it is not less than 1. It is greater than or equal to 1. Therefore, the sum does not exist. 
So once again, to find the sum of all the terms in an infinite geometric series, the sum will equal a sub 1 divided by 1 minus r.